Hi, welcome back to another Fusion Basics tutorial. Today we are going to be doing basics of mask. Just something simple. Let's get to it. Drag the Fusion Comp to the timeline. Right click on it. Open in Fusion page. I'll be focusing on just this four. The rectangle mask, the ellipse, the polygon mask, and the B spline mask. Let me drag them to the node grid. Let me get the footage in. Let me drag a poppy video here. Let me close that. Make this dual viewer. Drag media in one to the left viewer. The media out to the right viewer. Nothing is connected to this, it's not showing anything. Now I could connect rectangle one, the rectangle mask to media out. It will just show me a black and white image. Same thing with the ellipse, but for polygon, it will show me nothing. Why? Because for a polygon node, I need to draw something for it to show anything. So if I click on this, click on this, I can draw any image I wish, then connect it, and then it will display a black and white image of the mask. Same thing with beast spline, but with beast spline, if I click on beast spline, if I click on a point and I click on another point, it doesn't have sharp edges, it curves around the image and drawing. Then if I connect this, you see we have something that is smooth around the edges. Okay, so we can disconnect this. Now let me explain masks. Masks are like windows. Let's assume I'm outside on a field, right? I can see the whole horizon. But the moment I get into a house and there's a window in front of me, that window limits my vision of the whole horizon. That window in that instance is a mask. Look at this dog, for example. If I decide to connect this rectangle node to the mask input, this blue input here for media in one, you'll see that now I am looking at the dog image through the rectangle window, which is the mask. Same thing for the ellipse mask. Same thing for the polygon mask. Same thing for the B spline mask. They all work like windows, right? But it is not advisable for you to connect a mask node directly to the image that is coming in because this image you may want to reuse it in its full form in another part of the comp so the best way to do this is to drag a merge node here connect this to the foreground remember the last lesson then this background node we need to connect this to the background input of merge one this background node, let's just make sure the alpha is zero then for merge one, let's connect this rectangle here and drag this into the viewer. So you see, this is media in one unaffected, but the merge node is the only thing affected. So I can do some other thing. I can drag another merge node here, drag this ellipse node, connect this to the mask input there, connect this to the mask input, get the background node, connect that to the background here. Instead of getting another background node, I could even reuse this background node here. Connect this to the background node here. Then connect this one to the foreground. Let's delete this. Then if you drag this to the left viewer, you see that this ellipse is the window that we have now created for this image now. Because the merge always works on what is connected to the foreground, right? And for each of the mask, nodes if i go to here you see it turns into white i can drag it and modify the size i can if i go to this edge i reduce the size if i go to the edges i can deform it like this same thing for the rectangle mask if i drag this to this viewer and I expand it i can do that i can reduce like that that's it for rectangle nodes ellipse nodes and then we go to polygon connect that here everything changes I can drag that once I click it creates another point for me to adjust the image then I can go here I can do X rotation I can do Y rotation I can do 
x0 rotation so many things you can do in the inspector panel for rectangle mask you can change the width the height you can even put a bit of corner radius so it's kind of if i connect this to this you see the corner radius here you can make it roundish i can make it less rounded that kind of thing so these are the adjustments we can make so let's make a little Let's delete this line, delete polygon, let's delete, um, let's go down here, drag this up a bit, let's delete ellipse. Let's create another merge node, connect this background to the background input of this merge node. Connect this background to this background input here. And then I want to copy this, paste, connect this to the mask input, copy, paste, connect this to the mask input. Let me drag this here, drag this here, and connect this to the foreground here. So you realize that this this rectangle is the same rectangle we have here that we pasted here, pasted here. So I adjust this a little. Let me go to the first one. Let me reduce this. Put this like that. Let's say I drag this here like this. And I go to this rectangle here. Reduce the size. Elongate this a bit. Drag this here and go to this one. Just the side a bit. Go here and then get this. You see that for this merge, we see this. For this second merge, the right viewer, we see that. And then for this third merge, we see this. I click the merge node and connect this to the foreground, connect this to the background. I drag another merge node. Connect this to the background, connect this to the foreground, then we drag this to this viewer. I drag this closer to here so it looks a bit better. Let's click on a single viewer and then we see this. Now, one beautiful thing we can also do is for these rectangles, I can just go here, drag a transform node in between here. So it fits into the transform node. I make sure that it does, it's not connected to the mask input of the transform, but the yellow input of the transform. Then for this transform, I go to the beginning, this I keyframe it, then I go to the middle, something around here, I keyframe it here, and I go to the beginning, let's drag it up. Out of view, then I go to this mask node too, I drag the transform node here, Make sure I keyframe it there. Then I go to the beginning and drag it down, down out of view. Then I go to this last one. I drag a transform node here. Let's see, it's not connected. Yep. And I connect it to the mask input. It's connected now. So we click on this and keyframe the this one, go to the middle, keyframe there, then go to the beginning and move it up to. Okay. This one is not connected, let's connect it. Yeah. So if we go to the beginning, something like that, where it's too slow, go to keyframes. Let's go to transform one, expand this, and expand this a bit here drag this drag this back a whole lot same thing for transform 2 expand it drag this back to here and click on this expand it drag this back to here close keyframes just wanted to show you how you can use mask to do some interesting things let's click outside of there let's connect this to media out then we play it. Let's drag this to the viewer and play it. 
But you notice that the movement of the transform is not smooth. So I go to transform, go to spline, I stop this, go to displacement, zoom to fit, select it, press F on the keyboard, press T, increase this to about 85. Do the same thing for this one to zoom to fit, select. Control H, there we go. Press F on the keyboard. Increase this to 85. And go to transform three. Zoom to click on the statement. Zoom to fit. Select everything. Press F on the keyboard. And then using that to 80. And um, if we play this now. Beautiful stuff, just using masks, merge and transform. Thank you for joining and um, see you on the next one. Cheers.